So for our two-way table, we have two variables. We have the animal class, so if it's a mammal, bird, reptile, or amphibian, and we have its conservation status, whether it's threatened or not threatened. So we're told there's 5,567 mammals, so we'll write that for the total number of mammals right here. And of those mammals, we're told 1,194 are threatened. So we'll put that in the cell for threatened and mammal. Now that means this cell not threatened for mammal is the difference between the total number of mammals and the threatened mammals. So we'll just subtract 1194 from 5567. And we end up with 4370. Let's do this for the birds, reptiles, and amphibians. Okay, now if we add up all the numbers in the threatened column, we'll have the total number of threatened species. Turns out it's 5,801. Now if we add up the total of the total column, it will tell us how many species are included in our data set. It turns out 28,557. Now if 5,801 of these 28,557 species are threatened, that leaves 22,756 that are not threatened. Now our two-way table is going to make these probabilities pretty easy to calculate. Let's start with the probability of threatened. So there's 5,801 threatened species out of a total of 28,557. So if we arrange those in a fraction, we have our probability. That turns out to be approximately 0.203. Now the probability of selecting a mammal or a threatened species is the probability of selecting a mammal plus the probability of selecting a threatened species minus the probability of selecting a mammal that is a threatened species. If we don't subtract out this last quantity, we'll end up double counting all the mammals that are also threatened. Now there's a total of 5,567 mammals. And there's also a total of 5,801 threatened species. So it seems like we could just add these two numbers and divide by the total number of species. After all, that would represent all the mammals and all the threatened species. The problem is we'd be double counting the mammals that are also threatened. So we need to subtract out the 1,194 species that were already counted as mammals before we count them again as threatened. It turns out there's 10,174 mammals or threatened species out of the total 28,557 species. So our probability is approximately 0.356. If we were just to add the probability of being a mammal and the probability of being threatened, so basically what's associated with our two green boxes in our table above, we get a probability of about 0.398. Now the reason parts C and D do not equal each other is because it's possible to be a mammal and be threatened. In other words, the events being a mammal and events being threatened are not mutually exclusive. They can simultaneously occur. If none of the mammals were threatened, then parts C and D would be equal probabilities because the events being a mammal and being threatened would be mutually exclusive and the probability of being a mammal and threatened would be zero. So in part C, when we subtract out that quantity, we'd be subtracting out zero. Like this video? Check out my book, The Ultimate AP Statistics Practice Book. It's got 100 problems, all with videos just like this. You can pick it up on Amazon.com.